Welcome to another episode of One India Poll Wrap, where we bring you the latest updates on the elections across India. Today, we'll delve into the key developments in Jharkhand and Maharashtra as both the states prepare for their upcoming assembly elections. The opposition's India Bloc on Saturday finalized its seat sharing formula for the upcoming Jharkhand assembly elections. As for the agreement, the Chief Minister Hemant Soren led Jharkhand Mukti Morcha will contest on 43 seats, while the Congress will field candidates on 30 seats. The Rashtriya Janata Dal, that is RJD, will contest on six seats, and left parties will field candidates on three seats, which include Nirsa, Sindri, and Bagodar. There will be a friendly contest among the candidates of the India Bloc on Dhanwar, Chhatarpur, and Vishrampur assembly seats, as per the seat sharing formula. In the Dhanwar seat, the BJP has pitted its senior leader and former MP Babulal Marandi. However, India Bloc has not yet officially declared their seat sharing arrangements. The Bharti Janata Party is set to unveil its manifesto Sankalp Patra for the Jharkhand Assembly elections on November 3. Union Home Minister Amit Shah will present the manifesto at a gathering in Rachi. This announcement was made by Shivrat Singh Chauhan, BJP's election in charge for Jharkhand and Union Minister. Chauhan revealed that Amit Shah would arrive in Rachi on Saturday evening to confer the party leaders about their election strategy. Following the manifesto release, Shah plans to address rallies in Dhalbhumgarh, Barkatha and Simaria, key locations across Jharkhand. The BJP has outlined five major commitments for Jharkhand known as Panch Pran. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Jharkhand on November 4 to continue the campaign momentum. He is expected to hold public meetings in Garwa and Chaibasa. Chauhan expressed optimism that Modi's development message would resonate with Jharkhand's populace. Ahead of the Maharashtra Assembly elections, the Central Intelligence Agencies warned of a potential threat to the life of Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, prompting the authorities to buttress his Z plus security cover with X Force One personnel. The intercepted communications by the intelligence teams suggested the threat to the BJP leader's life, according to highly placed sources in the State Home Department. Without specifying any groups, they said they are investigating the nature and extent of the potential threats and urged Fadnavis to exercise caution. Earlier, the state police upgraded the security of Fadnavis with 12 X Force One commandos as a precautionary measure, citing security reasons in view of the upcoming Maharashtra Assembly election. Fadnavis enjoys Z Plus security cover at present, which is taken care of by the Maharashtra Police's Special Protection Unit, said the officials.